I was in a local big box retail store and I saw this thing. It comes with a, a smart plug. Um, this Nest Mini does. I don't have any Nest products in my home assistant ecosystem. All I have are the, um, um, the, the Alexa things. So let's go ahead and open this up and see what we have inside the box. off here I don't know if this packaging is specific to the retailer or if this is just going to be something that uh, comes with um, or you can buy this online I don't know but it was in uh, it was in the big box uh, home improvement store so I thought I'd pick it up it's on sale actually cheaper than just buying one of these by itself all right so the let's get started Plug it in, do some things with it, okay. And then we have, oh, look at that, indoor smart plug. So here's our indoor smart plug. I don't know that I'll use this. Uh, it is by GE though, so maybe it'll just integrate directly to Home Assistant. Uh, it's Wi-Fi, so that may or may not work. So we'll see. How that works okay we'll try that out let's just see what's inside here Got a little deal here okay I don't want to spend the whole video unboxing because I want to put this to work for us all right so empty box and then the smart plug and a little bit of documentation maybe How to set up your smart plug like i said i may not use this right now i may do something separate on this later on just depends on how easy it is to set up obviously there's a button to push to get it going all right we'll set that aside for now and let's pull this nest mini out so this looks like that's all it's in this box this looks like um like you would just get the standard nest mini packaging so let's uh Open that up. Just take the plastic off, get started and get going here. All right, let's try to open the box. There we go. Okay, nicely done there. And then of course we have the power for it. This is my first time ever seeing an actual Nest Mini, so or Google Nest Mini. So let's just uh, there's the actual unit right there. I'm sure a lot of you have seen this already. That's interesting. I can hang it. That might be useful. All right, and then we have get that out of the way. Some cardboard. Another let's get started page, some plastic on it, uh, our privacy information, and then let's get started. Yada, yada, how to turn it on, how to connect it. I already have the Google Home app because I just went through and did the Nest integration for Home Assistant, so I already have all that. Some keywords, some controls, wall mount optional, etc. And then what's left in here is the uh, power cord. So we have just a standard power cord. This is uh, not gonna be any USB related thing. It's one of those little round mini plugs. So you can't use your, your drawer full of USB power plugs to plug this in like you can with some of the other devices. And I can't really tell, but this is, um, yep, don't know what the output of this is. Anyway, there it is. All right, so there's the Nest Mini. And we're going to put this into Home Assistant and integrate it along with our other devices, our uh, Echo devices that we have set up around the house and see what the comparison is between the two. All right, stay tuned for the integration. All 
So today I'm doing this through Nabucasa. Nabucasa is a great site um, that allows you to integrate your Home Assist or your uh, voice devices with Home Assistant. So I'm using the Alexa one already, and I've been using it for a long time through Naba. It's been great. Haven't had any issues with it. Uh, now I'm adding the uh, Google Assistant or Google Mini to this. So um, you can start with a 31 day free trial. Um, I'm not sponsored or they don't sponsor me. So this is just uh, me giving you some information. 31 day free trial. And if you like it, you can continue to pay. I think I pay $5 US per month. Uh, once you have this uh, account turned on, you can go to configuration, turn on the cloud or put cloud in a, a colon in your configuration.yaml file and then restart Home Assistant. Once you've done that, you can go into configuration and you'll see that you'll have this Home Assistant cloud uh, option. And when you click on that, you will be taken to uh, a page with a bunch of different options. Um, one of them being the Alexa, one of them being the Google Assistant. Again, I'm already running this one. So I'm now turning on Google Assistant through cloud and then I'm gonna enable state reporting as well. So once you have all of this done, then you need to go into your uh, your Google app on your um, your phone, your mobile device, and then click on the plus sign, and you're going to set up a new device. And I'm going to do works with new, works with uh, Google, and we're going to do uh, well. I'm going to search for Nabu. Click on Nabu Assistant Cloud by Nabu Casa. I'm going to allow access and now it's going to be signing in and linking my home assistant cloud to my Nabo, Nebukasa. And now um, are here are all the devices that it, it has found. So you can modify this list anytime you want to. I'm going to go ahead and just choose a couple here for us to play with. Front hall light. All right, so I think that's all we have to do here. I don't think you have to add it to a room to make it work. Where are these devices? I'll just say downstairs. Maybe I do have to add it to a room, but we'll see. All right, they're moved to another room. All right, so there you have it. Now you can also go into, um, You can also go into your Google Assistant and manage entities here on this. So by default, Google adds all of your entities into its um, visibility or exposes all your entities. So I have 206 exposed now. And one thing you can do to limit that is go to manage domains and you can turn off some of the domains that you don't want to be managed right now. So um, I have climate cover, which is the garage door. Uh, my control panel for the alarm, not right now. Uh, binary sensor, not right now. Um, so some of these things I've turned off that limits the number of entities that get returned. So once you have all of these entities, uh, you can start working with them. So if we go back to um, Home Assistant in general, we can just play around with a couple of these with my device here. So I have my uh, kitchen and playroom and different things exposed. So if we take my, my uh, device right here and let me turn my phone off so it doesn't interfere with this. All right, so we have my device here and I'll say, okay, Google, turn on Kitchen Island. Island on. All right, so you can see here that the kitchen island is now on. You can say, okay, Google, turn on kitchen counter. Sure, turning kitchen counter on. And we can see again here that kitchen counter has been turned on. And then finally, okay, Google, turn on front hall. Sure, turning front hall on. It's trying. All right, there it is. So now we have these three things turned on. So it's now uh, exposed those entities and those uh, are controllable via the uh, Nabucasa cloud um, 
and, and the uh, Google Nest Mini. All right, so that's as simple as it is. Basically, you just make sure you go over to Nabucasa, enable your cloud configuration, go through the steps here, make sure that you've added your, uh, your mini or your voice control device to your account with the home app. Then you go over to your configuration, make sure your cloud shows up here and then click on that. And then make sure that you have enabled the assistant. And if you want state reporting that is enabled. And then finally you uh, go to your entities, either through your, your app on your phone or your manage entities here and you expose the entities that you want to control. I have, again, I have 324 different entities. Now I have 206 exposed because under my managed domains, um, I turned off a bunch that I'm not gonna manage right now through this app or through the, through the assistant. So next time what I'll show you is how I do text to speech, which is what we're gonna use to make announcements when certain things happen. I do that with my current Alexa. So when the garage doors opened or the refrigerator doors left open, or there's a temperature alert on the fridge or, um, certain things happen in the house, uh, my Alexa currently notifies me. I'm going to duplicate that with Google and see how that works. So make sure you subscribe and you hit that bell icon. So you're notified when I make new videos, let me know if you have any questions in the comments below, uh, hit me up on my discard server. If you feel like supporting my work, uh, drop me a, uh, a beverage on coffee, Kofi, or um, if you're really serious, become a Patreon subscriber. There's some Discord benefits for doing that as well. And uh, we will see you on the next video. Thanks for watching.